Whether verbal or physical, altercations between teammates come with the territory of sports at any level, from peewee to professional. However, there's a level of respect that needs to be maintained, and the line is different for every team. It's clear that Golden State Warriors forward Draymond Green crossed that line when he got into a physical altercation with teammate Jordan Poole during practice, which he and the team have since confirmed. Known for his passionate disposition, the 32-year-old Green has gotten into several mid-game verbal spats with both opponents and teammates that have been caught on camera during his tenure with the Warriors, not to mention his reputation at practices. But he crossed the line when things got physical, and he's facing the consequences. Today's video will be about what NBA players really think about Draymond Green. The fiery Draymond Green, a four-time NBA champion and four-time All-Star, has long been considered the emotional leader of the Warriors. He's been willing to get into it with his teammates when he feels it's appropriate. There is a tough love element to every team, team owner Bob Meyer said, noting Draymond is absolutely a leader on this team. Green regularly pushes the league limit for technical fouls. He was suspended one game without pay in November 2018 for conduct detrimental to the team following an altercation with Kevin Durant. Green also sat out Game 5 of the 2016 NBA Finals for an accumulation of flagrant fouls. Today, we'll cover what NBA players have said about Draymond both before and after his most notable incident. Before we begin, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more interesting NBA content. Let's keep rolling! The NBA world has reacted to a leaked video in which Draymond Green is seen punching his teammate Jordan Poole in Warriors practice. As previously reported, Draymond Green escalated a conflict and punched his teammate Jordan Poole on October 5 during the Golden State Warriors morning practice. Many have compared this incident to the one when Bobby Portis punched Nikola Mirotic in the Chicago Bulls practice back in 2017. Portis was not happy about that and has responded on Twitter, saying he only defended himself. As previously tweeted in my last tweet, I got eight games for defending myself. It's a lot different in my opinion. Stop dragging my name in this. After the video has been surfaced, lots of NBA players and personalities have reacted with their opinion on Twitter. Evan Fournier There is no way you can get back to being teammates after a punch like that. And somebody got a bag for releasing that tape. SMH. Trey Young Draymond is trying to get to LA. Damn. Isaiah Thomas He's going to have to see me every time after this sucker punch. Damn. That ain't it. And whoever leaked this should be fired too. Rudy Gobert Insecurity is always loud. Golden State was already considering a punishment for Green prior to the leaked video. However, the discipline was unlikely to lead to the four-time All-Star missing games as the forward was expected to return to the team very soon. Nevertheless, the Warriors have weathered chemistry issues before, one that also involved Draymond Green. Almost everyone remembers the time when Green screamed at former teammate Kevin Durant's face, telling him that the Warriors didn't need his services because they already won a championship without him. The Warriors recovered to make the NBA Finals that year, only coming up short due to injury problems that stopped their bid for a three-peat right in its tracks. With the Warriors set to make key contract decisions on Jordan Poole and Draymond Green, whether this incident affects anything in that regard will be something to look out for. No official punishment for Green has been announced, but he said he will step away from the team for an indefinite period of time. Let's now check out some of the things NBA players have said about Draymond Green in the years before the current incident. Number 1. Kevin Durant Kevin Durant has admitted arguments with teammate Draymond Green influenced his decision to leave the Golden State Warriors for the Brooklyn Nets in free agency. The Warriors were attempting to win a third straight NBA title with Durant, and fourth in five years, when an argument broke out between the pair in November 2018. Durant reportedly ranted at Green for not getting him the ball. Green responded, reportedly by calling Durant a choice name and telling him to leave the team because the Warriors were a championship-winning squad without him. I wish that wouldn't have happened, Durant told ESPN's first take. I feel like that was a situation that definitely could have been avoided. It really came out of nowhere. 
for us, everybody was looking for something to tear us down with, and I think they used that. I mean, your teammate talks to you that way, you think about it a little bit. Like I said, we talked about it, but definitely, for sure, it was a factor in leaving. I'm not going to lie about it. Golden State suspended Green for one game in the aftermath before going on to lose in the NBA Finals in June, with an Achilles injury to Durant denting their hopes. The duo later on squashed their beef, but their fights were legendary during Durant's tenure as a warrior. Number 2. LeBron James Everyone knows what happened during the 2016 NBA Finals. The Golden State Warriors were up 3-1 on the Cleveland Cavaliers until LeBron James and company pulled off the comeback for the ages, one aided by a suspension from Draymond Green. The Warrior star famously accrued the flagrant foul that put him over the top with the suspension via a shot to the groin of LeBron James late in Game 4. This when they were minutes away from going up 3-1 and heading back home to Golden State. James discussed the incident, saying, Draymond said something that I don't agree with. I'm all cool with the competition. I'm all fine with that. But some of the words that came out of his mouth were a little bit overboard. Being a guy with pride, a guy with three kids and a family, things of that nature, just some things go overboard. And that's where he took it. James and Green became entangled when Green attempted to set a hard screen. When James jostled Green loose and sent him to the floor, he attempted to step over the Warriors forward, leading to Green swinging his arm at the four-time MVP and hitting him in the groin. James immediately turned around, and the two nearly scuffled outside the three-point line in the middle of a Warriors possession. They almost came to blows again while chasing a rebound, with James needing to be restrained by multiple teammates and screaming in Green's direction. Officials assessed a double foul. During the years, Green's and James's rivalry apparently turned into something of a friendship, as LeBron was seen at Draymond's wedding this summer. Number 3. Kendrick Perkins The only thing more predictable than Draymond Green saying he's the greatest defender in NBA history was the reaction it spawned last year. We all know the five-time NBA All-Defensive player is one of the most outspoken and outspokenly confident stars in the NBA. But we also know that legacy questions are asked, answered, and debated in barbershops, comment sections, and across sports talk programming on the radio, television, and at least a few of the streaming services with plus in the name. This is what Big Perk said on this matter. I think he's out of his darn mind. For Draymond to come out publicly without anybody else saying it, that's the crazy thing about it. And then it's so disrespectful to guys like Dennis Rodman, Ben Wallace, Kevin Garnett, Hakeem Olajuwon, Tim Duncan, like, those guys were elite defenders. Ron Artist, I mean, the list goes on. Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen. And so, Draymond, he has to realize that. We all value that he's undersized. He's an undersized center, an undersized power forward. He kind of changed the game, but you have to put some respect on your elder's name, man. Perkins has brought an interesting perspective as an analyst since the end of his playing career, and he doesn't take himself too seriously. But this take doesn't have the same pizzazz as some of his greatest hits. And what do you guys think about Draymond? Does he hurt the Warriors more than he helps right now? Could he be traded? I would love to hear your opinion, so please let me know what you think in the comments. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, and hit that notifications button for more amazing NBA content. Thanks for watching!